hello everyone in this video we are just going to differentiate global variables and local variables in embedded systems let's get started so in this program i'm just going to declare and define one more function let's take it to be function 1 without parameters and without return type and here I am just going to print uh, let's take it to be variable a value and here I am just declaring uh, int of a so let me just put the function in the top, function in the bottom and uh, declaration in the top. So this is function declaration and this is function definition. So when I call this function 1 right over here, inside main, what happens is, here it will, let us take the value of a to be 3, it will take or declare this variable a value to be 3 and it will print the a value in the debug viewer window so that's what happens let me just compile and run this program you can see the function 1 will be executed printing the value of variable a so now here you can clearly see the variable a value is local to this function or user defined function function 1 so when I try to do the same thing that is printing operation of variable a in main function also below this function call you can clearly see it is throwing me an error that is use of undeclared identifier a. So that is because this variable a is a local variable to user defined function function 1. So when I put down this variable a right over here in main, it will be taken as a local variable for this main function and it will throw an error right over here in my function 1. So to avoid this or for using this variable both in main function and also in function 1 or in any of the user defined functions in my whole program, I can directly declare and define this variable outside of main in the top of the program below the header files so this means this variable is a global variable applicable for the whole program or for this whole main.c file so now you can use the variable a in this main function as well as in function 1 and also in various other functions that you are going to write in this main.c file so now when i compile this and when i run this it will be printing the value of a equal to 3 two times so the output is as expected so this is how global variables are declared and once you declare a global variable you can clearly see the instruction cycle let me just show you where this value will be stored in ram in memory tab i am just going to the first position of global ram you can see here i am having the value to be 3 which is the global variable so when you declare and define a global variable it will store in the static ram of the controller so let me just change the value to be 7 now you can see the value 7 has been stored in the first byte of ram which is consumed by this particular 16 bit variable of type int named a so when you do it locally this will not happen it will not consume memory instead these registers will handle the instructions one by one and all the process will be done that we have already discussed how it will function for basic arithmetic and logical operations so this is how local and global variables are declared and defined inside the processor and when i declare it locally here also let me just declare it locally so this int a is meant for this function and this int a is meant for this function 
now when i run this program you can see the ram consumption is not done for this particular variable since it is local variable and in the instruction set you can see the r4 is used for storing this value 7 right over here and when i run And again, the R4 is useful for storing the value 7 in this function 1 also. So, when the variable is declared as a local variable, the registers will be handling the data. And if the variable is declared in global space, RAM will be consumed for a particular memory. So, I hope you understood the difference between local variable and global variable in embedded systems that is in ARM Cortex-M processor. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.